All right, well, we're getting ready to put in some new doorknobs here. And as it turns out, when you put this knob in the way it fits inside the hinge, the key is upside down. And here are the keyhole is at the top instead of the bottom. Now, quick set says that's okay. It'll work correctly that way. But that's not the way it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna show you how to change it so the keyhole is on the bottom. Now if you search YouTube, you'll find some videos that tell you that you can do this with a couple of small screwdrivers. And you can if you know what you're doing and if you're comfortable working on locks. I'm personally not that comfortable working on locks. So this is what I did, and this is what I suggest you do. This tool is a cylinder removal tool. It's about five or six dollars on Amazon. And this is what you need. It's just a little piece of metal, but it makes it work very easily. You could potentially tear up your lock trying to do it with a screwdriver if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So buy the tool, do it the right way, and it will be a piece of cake. First thing you have to do is looking at this, the lock here, there's a little, let's see, get it right side up here. There's a little tab right here that we have to rotate. We have to rotate that to get it lined up with this indentation here. All right, so looking at the inside of the knob assembly, I'm gonna turn so that this little tab right here is lined up with that hole. What you're trying to do here is you'll notice that there's a spring under here. Take the pointed end of this tool, you put it under that spring and you turn the tool to kind of push it up. And then with this top piece lined up, it comes right up. So you've lined up that little latch right there you got the spring compressed. I wish you with the tool there, you got the spring compressed and you just pull straight out. Now, once we've done that, you use the other end of the tool, a little double tip end. You work it into this hole where the little cylinder rod came out. And that will push on the top and the bottom. Tap it, and the cylinder comes right out. Took me a few times to do it the first time, but once you have it, it's a piece of cake. This tool is the lifesaver. So buy this tool, and try to do it with screwdrivers. This is so easy and you won't damage the lock. It works great. All right, now, before we put it together, let's make sure we have the, the cylinder, the right orientation. So if we look in here to see the half moon is to this side. So this is how it's gonna go in. So now I can take my cylinder with the key slot down and just snap it in. That's how it goes back in. the right way. To put it back together, just line up the line up the rod, push it back in, turn the center key off, and you're in business.
key in the right way. All right, got it installed. Keyhole is on the bottom, matches all the others. Hopefully that'll help you turn your cylinders around so they all match and do a more professional job on your locks. Appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them uh, in the comments below. Uh, if you found it useful, appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. I'd like to get this account up over a thousand and make some more of these videos. So thanks again.